This right here is back day for us. It's called How to Get a Big Back Gym Motivation on my channel. And I'm gonna just go through some of the mindset of what we go through in my workouts or when I'm pushing myself with my fellow fitness brothers and my lady sometimes comes into some of these shows. And let's get to it for the glory. This is actually her artwork as well. Put it in the back, you know. This is what she do when she, you know, she got her spare time. So if y'all if y'all looking to ask what what is that? That's what she do. I try to support her in her artwork as well. She be trying to throw it away and all that. But she gonna keep it. <laughs> Let's go for it. Enjoy the day. So this is back day. I push you, man. I'm, I'm not here to fight. I'm not here. To, this is what we do. If you come to say, oh, Akeem, I want to work out with you. Oh, no, no. You don't just, oh, Akeem, I'm going to work out with you. No, no. We get to the pain. You know why? Because that's what we're here for. I want to look good. Not only for the summer, all year round. So right here, I'm doing, right there, what is that? Deadlifts to um, bent over rolls. Those are one of my favorites. Don't be scared to change it up. You know, calisthenics is amazing. I do great with um, calisthenics, but weightlifting is one of those things where this is therapy, not only for those who just do it. Like, this is the doctor that you need to go see. Touching weights, going through something, feeling bad, go hit some weights. It, it, it just feels different. And the physique definitely changes up. So not only be scared to just do calisthenics, hit some weights. But everything's about form. So if you have any questions about form and things like that, I sometimes even set up with my clients and just showing them the way and learning how to do certain cues while they're doing the exercise can go a long way. Please don't hurt yourself in some of these exercises if you're trying them. You got to make sure that you're doing them and making sure that your cues are on point to get through them. But once again, if, if I do it, I'm trying to push you to do it. I go from one plate to three plates. Sometimes I skip all the, all the way to just three plates because I'm just in a mood to just lift something heavy. What's up? All right? I'm going through it right now. So we are a minute and 34 seconds in, and I'm rowing with 315, you know, on a good Sunday probably. You know? And you got to own it. I scream it out. A lot of people like to use my words too, like own it for the pain. They don't, they don't look like that. They don't sound like me, yo. They try to be like it, but it's, you can smell the difference. You can know the difference. They not like that. This is when you know they for that pain. They push through. They don't, they don't always feel good, but it feel good. You hear me? Let's go. This right here is my boy Kells with the Yankee hat. You know he go for the glory if he with me. I don't know if he's still in shape like that no anymore. Let's 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 let's, let's I might have to have him on one of these. See if he still get the money. He pushing in three fifteen, and at this gym. They don't have no clips. So we make do with what we got. We fight for it. Those are those best gyms. The ones that ain't got no clips. You got to look for the 25s with the 30s at. We don't know where it's at. We're going to steal it though. We're going to lift it. Right now I'm on 415. That's 405. I'm bugging. That's 405. You know, light deadlift. You know. We don't, I, I started using wraps or straps. But on these, I, I ain't have. I ain't need to. The energy in the room that I produce is just going. It's going. It's going to bring the energy I need. My, my grip gets better. You know, I'm fighting through it. We rolling it right now. So deadlift to rolls before, and then I'm drop set right after that. Go all the way down to one plate, and I'm repping it out because repping is always your weapon. I got that from Matrix before. You know, repping is your weapon. If you go rep it out, that's strength. Forget the ones or. You know, to each his own, you know, you power left and you do that one rep, that's great. But for me, I need more. I need the pain. I need to be destroyed after I finish training. You feel me? But not even that, because I just love to push myself to that last, where I, I just need to just soak in hot water or cold water sometimes. It depends. How I feel. Let's go. It's my boy, JC. Let's go. He's fighting for it right now. Got the headphones on. I don't know what he listening to. He probably listening to church music because I, I was bugging. I was in the front just going stupid. Like, let's go. And don't 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 expect me to just stay calm while you getting the money. Cause I feel like I'm getting the money double time. I love to see people pushing themselves. And I love them seeing them see the the, the mindset change. See how their body physically changes. It's 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 a it's a feeling like no other. To know that you have control over everything that you're doing. And how much pain you were able to push and endure through this is, is something. Un 
it's unmatched in anything that I've ever done, you know? Let's go. Yeah, and I'm accounting with you. So you just in case you, you forget a rep. I sometimes forget a rep. I be thinking I did 15. I may be doing 14 or 13, but in my head, it be, it's 15. But it is what it is. I'm not married. I'm, I don't care about the reps. I want to see if how much I could keep on pushing, you know? And you can't fake this energy. This is really about just really going in. If my lady didn't film this at that time, it would have never shown it. Because a lot of my workouts don't get filmed. It's just fighting for it. Fighting for glory. And I feel the same way with calisthenics. I'm going to push myself to that last to that last rep. You know? You know, it depends on your goal, though, too. Because this is to get ripped. I'm trying to get ripped and still stay, you know... I can pull out my I can pull off that shirt anytime and it's going it's going to look like something. And you oh, I pull yeah. He tried to give up on me on this rep right here. Nah, I'm not way. I pull your leg, grab the shirt. Let's go. We got to get to this glory. We ain't here to play with nobody. I'm not here to play with nobody. We get to the we get to that chicken. We get to that chicken. Let's go. Let's go. It's like I'm doing that rep. I I, I promise you you'll think that I'm I'm, I'm in the set with it you. Ain't no way you giving up in front of me. No way. Ain't no way. That's why certain people don't, don't work out with me. They be like, nah, 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 nah. He he pushed too hard. My lady got to push hard if she coming in the gym and she talking about she working hard. That's it. I'm only, it's, it's only for the glory. I'm building nothing but monsters out here, man. Monsters. And you can get this same training. If you hit me on Akeem Supreme, on IG, or you can hit me on an email. I'm here. Let's get to the glory. Because it's not only about a physical, it's the mental and that pain endurance. How much can you bear? How much glory can you contain yourself with? Let's go. My lady gets to the reps. What's she doing right there? 135? Let's go. Light. She can't quit on me. Oh, she put that 25 on him. I'm sorry. That's like 165. Let's go. She's not to be played with either. You think I'm here to just, oh, you gonna just come to the gym with me? No, no, no. You go play over there if you going to play over there. My lady, she gets to the money. She reps out. She may not like to rep out with me, but she gonna get it. She love that shit like I love that shit, so. Right here, now we doing um, pullovers and then seated rolls. I'm going for glory right there too. That's one of my favorite exercises. I love to hit that rear delt because that rear delt gets neglected by most people in calisthenics and weightlifting. They just think that it's just going to appear out of nowhere. Wrong, nigga. No, I'm sorry. Not to call y'all that. But it's a mentality. It's only to get pushed back all the pain. Hitting that rear delt just make that shoulder look so much fuller, look so much better developed. You don't even have to flex too often because it's just going to sit up in the shirt. It just looks good. You hear me? And don't let it be summertime. I don't wear no shirt. What do you mean a shirt? Shirt don't fit this body. You hear me? For the pain. Let's go. So we do rolls right here. I'm doing a little 60. You know, I like to warm up. I don't go too crazy sometimes. You know, sometimes I don't even want to touch anything less than 80. And I'm just going stupid. But I think this is the second and third set. I'm over here. It seems like I'm coaching. I'm running back and forth. I'm making sure all my guys eat. Ain't no way I'm eating and you just get half a plate. Nah, everybody eat. Everybody get the money. You might have to go a little lighter, and which is okay because it's not about the weight. But if it's easier for me, I want to keep on pushing it. So I will keep on going up. Yeah. Right here, I think I'm, I'm pulling over 135 or 125. I'm not sure what the number says. But it don't even matter because I'm going to pull it over. You pull over, I, it, it's pretty tough because sometimes if you ain't really balanced and knowing where... If your arm's gonna give up, that, that thing fall on your face. It's gonna be something vicious, you hear me? It's gonna be something vicious. Three, yeah. Four, yeah. You gonna hear that voice. I get excited to see my guys push themselves to the, to the next level. Yeah. Get to that money. That was 135. My man JC just hit it. He, he went. That's Jason. Jason going for the money. Let's go. If he dies, he dies. That's always the mindset. And it ain't nothing if you ain't pushing yourself. Come on, man. 
You can see the aggression I'm pushing the weights, man. Anything I'm going through, I put it in the weight room. I put it on the bar. That bar owe me some. I tell people that all the time. You better pull like that thing owe you some. How much that thing owe you? Can your job ever tell you like, oh, yo, we forgot your paycheck? Nah, I want my money. I'm not leaving here without my money. That's what I feel about these weights. That's what I feel about calisthenics. That bar owe me some. That's the mentality I go into it. That bar owe me some. And I want mines. I need all mines. You hear me? Even when I eat. You want, I want all that. Please, thank you. Don't don't take away nothing off my plate until I'm finished. I don't care how long it takes. This workout had to be at least two hours. Sometimes it ain't even about the reps and the sets. I just want to keep going because I had something on my mind that day. Certain workouts is for a purpose, and then there's some exercises that I'm, I'm going through some, you know? And rather than doing something stupid, you handle it in the gym. You put that pain, all that aggression, all of, you know, sadness, all of that depression. I don't, I don't feel that. You know why? Because I go and put it in the gym. Ain't no way. You know, that, and that's a different mindset to get to, but we're going to talk on that soon. But just the mentality, I could go push myself here, and I feel amazing after. Ain't no bar in the world that you go get a drink at and you're going to tell me you're going to feel that type of good after. Yeah, ain't no way. It's right here. I started doing weighted pull-ups. I was like, you know what? These regular pull-ups ain't doing it for me. Let me hit that mid-back. So I closed the grip and I went for the reps. You feel me? And some people think that, oh, you got to bring the chin over because there's so many calisthenic people. Oh, it had to be the chin over. Uh -huh. Certain rules. All right, cool. It's cute. But you don't have to. Just pulling up and engaging that lat will give you that, that real defined, beautiful, wide back that you need and what you're looking for. All right? I think right now, Kells is on rows, seated rows. And I started seeing that he using more momentum than anything. So you say, you know what? Let me let me show you what it is. I, I got to intervene sometime because I, I not only can you help me while I'm training, I want you to help me. I want him to stay upright in this position right here. And he's going to do a seated row. So he's rowing, pulling that chest into that, that seat and pulling them elbows behind the body. That's going to help you engage. He pushing for it right now. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to fight. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to hear that while you train with me. No, we're going to build off that energy. If I'm good, you good. We eat together. You hear me? This is a big Thanksgiving dinner. You hear me? And that's every time we train. We're going to push. Right here, he thought he ain't have no more reps in him. He went and got more. That's what I'm talking about. Fighting for the glory. Getting all that chicken. You hear me? I don't play when it comes to this training, man. Some of y'all, you know, it looks good for YouTube. But a lot of times, you ain't going to see some of this training. Because I get to it. If my lady ain't there to record, yo, you wouldn't see half the stuff I be doing. I love to get it. I love to train. You feel me? That's what I do, man. This is one of those things. It just, it's just, you can smell, it's passion behind it. Some people do it because, you know, for the YouTube or, you know, they want to look good for their friends. I did this shit because I love this shit. You hear me? And competing was just to push myself to that next level of, all right, I think I look good in my gym. Let me see if I look good on that stage. And then it went to the national level. And then it went to the pro shoot, you know? And then I went to Olympia. You hear me? Second time. Top 10. You feel me? But I, I ain't, I ain't done that. I ain't done. I ain't done yet. We're going to get to it again. It's my lady having a, you know, baby. Congratulations to me and my lady, you know. You feel me? Even in this, this part right here, she thinks she's going to give up. Uh-uh. She's going to get it. Well, don't let me get excited. I love when my lady get it, too. Woo! Some of you, oh, she's too muscular. Nah. Women lifting is great. Because they really stress just like us. But I ain't gonna lie to you. She can't be bigger than me, though. I ain't gonna hold you. She ain't never gonna be bigger than me. I don't care if I had to eat 20 plates a day. You hear me? Don't let your lady be bigger than you. Look at all that sweat. Yeah, she be enjoying that sweat that coming off my body. She look a little... like She look like she about to lick her fingers right there. But I ain't gonna tell her to chill. Because, you know... You gotta have that connection with your lady. She gotta be like, ooh, who that? I'm like, it's me. It's me. You heard? It's me. Is you stupid? Is you stupid? It's me. Let's go, right? So we're going into some lap pull downs right here. I mean, Jason going for the glory right there. 
I'm pulling for the for dear life right here. This one. I'm trying to break the machine. I tell people all the time, break the machine, yo. Break the machine. In good form though. Don't just go in there and do something stupid. Correct the form, keep it tight. Everything here is all money. I'm pulling them for the glory, but don't break the machine. Let somebody make sure that you're doing it in correct form, all right? Hit me up if you need correct form. Watch my videos. You see the, the engagement that has to be involved in these lap pull downs. Even my lady do it. I correct her and I want her to correct me too. Because sometimes in the moment of it, you go on cart, you don't know how you where you at in it. Because you just going. But you always want to make sure you're doing that form. And making sure that those lats are working for They working for you the whole time. Let's go. When the set start looking nasty and you ain't getting full range of motion, stop or drop the weight. It's just not worth it. Right there. Right there. Right back. 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 Ain't got no more. You ain't got no more. I ain't gonna push you after that. These right here. These is one of the most neglected muscle groups ever. I feel like most people don't even do it. These are lower back extensions. I usually do it with weight or resistant band. And I love it. You hear me? That type of pain, it walks with you for the next three hours after this workout. You hear me? Those lower back erectors, they be on fire. You hear me? They be screaming, my name. My lady do it too. Make, make sure that those lower erectors are strong. You'll have no more back pain. If those are strong, you don't have back pain. I'll tell you that right now. Unless you had an injury. But... If you had an injury and you go back to doing these, the pain Enjoy is something pain. different. Enjoy pain. Oh yeah, don't let me get excited because when if I get started, everything starts to hurt me, I and I start to enjoy it even more. My boy Jason was going through it this day. I think he, I think he hated me this day. He was like, well, "Why do you keep on adding more shit to it?" Because I enjoy more pain. Yeah, he on he was screaming doing something. Graphic did wild side effects. I enjoy that. Yeah, I start laughing, smiling. Yeah, I love when I'm in pain or you in pain. I'm gonna start feeding off that. My my level of energy just doubled when I'm getting in pain. Let's go. I look like a Ninja Turtle with that hoodie on right there. You hear me? Back looks stupid. We did hella reps. And the resistant band is even it's not even crazy because it's not even a the heavy resistant band but after the plates and then you squeeze it with engagement with the with the band you'd be like oh yeah my lady even do two 245 so that's 85 pounds on the lower back squeezing it make all type of noises you hear me? Then I have to, after that, resistant band, high rows. Is you stupid? Enjoy that. That lower back be screaming after. You hear me? But she's getting to it. You know, she had to have the, all that chicken shirt on. I don't know why I ain't got mine's on. Because I am the chicken. You heard? Nah, I'm stop playing. Make sure y'all caught those two. I still got those. All that chicken. They looking at me like I'm crazy. I said I'm going through crazy. And she told me I'm crazy. I ain't here to say that though. I, I, and whatever I do is not with for you. But I'm competitive. She likes to even fight with me. You feel me? My back hurts and I'm shaking. Let's go. If you ain't shaking like a stripper, you ain't pushing your limits. You hear me? Let's go. I went three plates on this one. Lower back extension. Do not do this at home if you haven't done it before. Work your limits. At this point in my, I was, I was, I was not playing. I was there for glory that day. So that's three plates. That's ten reps, I think I did. And then I drop it. I did a drop set. I think two plates for ten. That's it. My back is on fire. But once again, when I'm enjoying myself, I gotta keep pushing. That's it. And then I go back for the one plate. You think as you go lower, it's like, oh, it feels a little bit dull. It feels like you still have three. And we continue to push. So that's 30 reps, three um, three plates, two plates, one plate. And then I do the band. And when you do the band, you got to squeeze. Not only for the for a little, like, oh, it feels good. Now engage, pulling them shoulders behind the body, making sure that that lower back is hurting. You hear me? You always talk about, forget just... 
I'm going to work out. What about your posture? This is a great for posture. I stand like I'm a gladiator. You hear me? I stand like a statue because that's where they really got it from, from us. And, you know, I want to really understand that this is gladiator work right here. You want that lower back strong? You want to roll good? Let that lower back be strong. It's over. And I enjoy the pain. Yeah, then you got to do the little cha-cha right after because I'm feeling good. Huh? Oh, yeah, you know, I had to hit the bar right after sometimes, you know? Because I, I could really show you some money after. Don't let me be in pain. Just another another day in the life of me, you know? I'm, keep on enduring. Keep on enduring. Keep on enduring. Keep fighting. Let's go. I mean, Jason was about to go home and quit. But he wasn't leaving there without my set, though. So we was going to get to the money. He was getting it that day. Let's go. Seven. I want all mines. Yeah. You, you can't leave and just say, oh, I'm, I'm out. Nah, you got to get mine. I want my reps. You can take your little break if you need to. But you owe. You owe. He's going back for it. He's going back for the pain. I'm telling you, everybody there is enjoying themselves. They may not see it in their faces, but they are. And if they're not, it don't even matter. What are we here for? The pain. Glory. Growth. Because if I can endure or put this amount of pain on myself, what could anybody in this world do to me? What could I not go through in this world? You can see it in his face. He was not happy with what we was doing that day. But he ain't no quitter. You're a fighter. Everybody that rock with me gonna fight. If you gonna quit, I'll make you leave right there. Go ahead, quit. But you gonna regret that. I tell you, everybody that went through that workout never regretted any rep that we did that day. We enjoyed all of it. That type of grittiness don't happen too often, man. Yeah. This is it. We're gonna go back to this too. Because I gotta show y'all the reps and the sets with the bar and the weights. Because you could get both, man. I don't know why people are so hesitant. Oh, I don't do weights. You know, I've been 25 years without weights. I enjoy that. You look like you weigh less than your daughter. Like, you, you 100 pounds. I'm good. Like, ain't no grown man should be 100 pounds. I mean, nah, not for me. If I am, I might be sick. You hear me? And that's not the life I live, you know? 100 pounds is crazy. I'm 6'3". Minimum, I should be 225. You feel me? If you feel otherwise, then you do what's best for you. But for me, I need to be 225 and above. You hear me? I don't get why she's why my lady was in it. She said, oops. Oops for what? Oh, yeah. She thought she could do the three plays. She had to get that humble sauce. That shit different. She be trying to compete with me. About to kill herself. Kill herself. Uh. Oh yeah, my lady don't get away with it either. She wanna go and pick up the same weight as me. Uh-uh, I whisper out here, you better stop playing with me. I'll pull out my belt in a minute. Nah, I'm stop playing. Come on, let's go. I start yelling at the rep with you owe. Come on. I'm here for it. She, is she trying to find her back? She find it, you know? You better find some. Don't pick up no way that you want to compete with me with. You better be humble. But I love it because she got to push me. She owe too. That's with a, a plate and a quarter. She started telling me she's shaking. No, she got to finish. This is when you get humble. She regretted everything that she did that day. She regretted that. She was like, you know, I should have just got that humble two plates. It would have been okay. But you know what? She finished. That's all that matters. You may take a break, but you don't quit. I don't even know. Did we drink water this whole workout? <laughs> I don't think we, we showed that at all. Stay hydrated. Make sure you drink some water. Sometimes I be so in tune on what I'm doing. Or I hydrate before, so I don't even really need too much. 
Oh yeah, I spank her in the middle of the workout. Let's get to the work. Glory! I'm here for the glory. That's it. Glory! Yeah, that's when you know it's, it's game time. Yeah, she contemplated life. Sweating crazy. Oh, we had to do a little ad? We did ads. I was really on one, because I don't really hit ads right after. But, oh yeah, I felt good that day. This took forever. Oh yeah, I started, you know, I'd be having so many combinations of training methods. Ah, let's go. Especially when I get to the ab work. I love the combination of just getting some ab work at the end of the workout. Changes the game. Most people ready to go home. Let me get these little bit of abs on. And then I come up with so many combinations in the midst of doing workouts. I'm like, if it hurts there, I wouldn't be like, all right, next level of hurt. And then it start to become so many different combinations. People start getting frustrated. Like, yo, what's going on, man? I got to go home. <laughs> I think right there, he was like, what you doing? And I'm like, you know what it is, man. Ain't no sweet time when I, like, when people work out with me, I ask them, are you sure? Are you positive? Nah, we're not going to be playing. We're going to get to them work. And I make sure you cover up your skin while you're in some of these gyms, because some of them just be filthy. Some people I'll be seeing, they put their bare skin on some of these machines. And if I don't sanitize that bad boy, we ain't putting that bare skin on there. I want to look good, not rashy. Uh -uh. Some of these machines don't be washed and we don't know how long. And then this next one is right here. We're going to do biceps. You got to make sure the biceps are good. We do four sets until you die. <laughs> we go back to back. I think at this time, Kells went home. He was like, nah, I'm good. You know? I had to catch him on another time. He was out of there. He was like, you know what, yo? I got other things to do in life. You know? And that was what he was... That was his, you know... That was his daily work that he needed. But I, I don't stop for nobody. You go home, I'm still getting to what I came for, the glory. So he's doing bicep curls. I don't I don't just do regular bicep curls to her. I curl it and then I'm tossing it to you. You hear me? You better get your grip up or that shit fall on your feet. These, should, these are non-negotiables. That's what I'm gonna call them. I might even make a shirt like that, non-negotiable. Non-negotiable training, you hear me? We got to get to the money. We got to look good as long as we possibly can. And not only look good, feel good, mentally strong. Because that's what I build. People who are mentally strong. You can mentally go through anything. This body could bear anything. Now let's go. Let's go. Oh, you definitely got to eat after because that's how you refuel the body. Don't go the whole set and just finish. And don't let me find another machine as we leave the gym. I'm going to do it. I might be by myself. Oh, shit. You ready to get it? Oh, the tricep extension. Oh, let's go. My man went back for his money. <laughs> that's when you, you, you push your brother. And I, don't like you, I don't like you eating without me. So I'm going to go and get mine too. I should curl the law after the workout. And we're doing some tricep. Then I did some triceps. I don't know why I did triceps, <laughs> but I did. Because why not? You can never do enough triceps. That's, what do they say? That's two thirds of the arm. People focus on the bicep, but it's the money in the triceps. But you need both. And as you can see in this video, my, my, my tricep is, it's looking real, looking real delicious out here, you heard? And then don't let me find another angle to make more pain out of those triceps. Oh yeah, let's get it.
most people would think I, I lived in Brooklyn at this time. I used to go to Brooklyn so much to just train at this one spot. It was called Richie's. They shut it down during the pandemic, which was heartbreaking a little bit, man. It was The energy was unreal in that gym. It used to take me like, what, an hour, two hours to get over there? Let's go. Then my one of my boys who get to the money as well, if he bug it, but he, he get it. He there for the pain too. We train together as well. It's a bunch of go-getters at that gym at that time. And this is all through with no pre-workout. I, I I feed off my own energy or if you with me, it's over. What pre-workout is needed? I, if I had pre-workout in this time, yo, it'd have been, I'd, have, I'd have hurt something easily. The only reason why I stop in some of these workouts is to eat because I can start feeling my stomach. Bottom of my stomach be like, so what we doing here? Let's go, bicep curls. All the way down, all the way up, let's go. I want the sleeve to rip off my arm. This is actually one of my biceps that I tore. Not doing bodybuilding, but calisthenics, really. <laughs> and then I found another. No. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> 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 you can't see that. Oh, this is like Jesus. when he was in 161. Yeah. And he's, don't let me hang it like that. For me first, then show his arm. Cause then people think it's me. I just cut my sleeve off. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ken. <Kim>, appreciate it. That's it. Finished the workout. We did crazy. We went for the sets. We went for glory. My boy stayed through the whole set. Kells had to take a little, a little vacation in the middle of that. But he, you know, we caught him on another time. It was glory that day. And this would be the wrap up for this video, man. You just tell me what you think, what you think about me, you know, commenting on certain videos and workouts. I might even do a couple of people that I've trained around with. And, you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. They feel some type of way or not. I don't care what you feel. I'm gonna tell you how I do it, how I feel about it, you know? It's never about no hate, it's just my own opinion, you know? You can comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if it looks legit like it getting to the glory, you know? But thank you for, you know, watching my video. Like, subscribe, follow, you know? I keep supreme. And you gotta follow my lady. What's your, what's your page? The Bohemian Body, you heard? The Bohemian Body. Make sure you follow that. You feel me? Do one of these and make it happen. You are right? Show love, y'all. We doing this, man. You know? It's a little bit different right now because we going through um, us having a baby, you know, our first, which is an amazing time, you know? But we're going to get back to it, you know? One step at a time, one video at a time. All it is is just keep on that momentum and then we ain't stopping no more. You heard? Right? So for the glory, all that chicken, Work!